When a subscribe contact clicks the unsubscribe link in your MailChimp campaign or when you manually unsubscribe a contact, the system changes the contact's email marketing status to, you guessed it, unsubscribed. But we know accidents happen, so here are a couple of ways to resubscribe a contact in MailChimp. First and foremost, respect the contact's wishes to be unsubscribed in the first place from your audience list. And please adhere to any applicable laws in your area, especially here in the United States, the CAN Spam Act. Let's say you've received an email from someone on your list to ask about resubscribing. In that case, you can simply send them a link to your signup form to resubscribe. And let me show you how that works. So for example, I have this person right here who has unsubscribed. And you'll see here, if I go straight across, it says unsubscribed. And if I go to actions here, now that I clicked on that person, I can say resubscribe them. However, I'm gonna get this big gigantic error that says a contact was not included, already unsubscribed, did not opt into marketing, cleaned. So there's no way for me as an admin of this audience list to resubscribe them through this process because they have opted out through a MailChimp campaign. However, if I if they come back and they say, hey, I'd love to be back on your list, send me a link to resubscribe, or maybe they'll ask you, how do I resubscribe? You can go to your signup forms here, click on form builder, and then send them this URL right here. Sign up from URL. Or if you are get explicit consent from them to just say, hey, please resubscribe me to your list, you don't necessarily need to send them the form, you can fill out the form yourself. So if I open up this form in a new tab and I add the email address that was previously unsubscribed and click subscribe, we'll have to confirm our humanity and click subscribe again. We've got the thank you message because that's how it's set up in this list. But if we go back into our audience list here, go back to our contacts. And if we scroll along here, we now see that this person is now resubscribed. Another example where you can resubscribe a contact is if you unsubscribe the contact yourself. Due to various reasons, such as low engagement, you can manually resubscribe them. And I'll show you how this works. So let's say this person right here has very low engagement. They're not interacting with any of my emails. I can go in here and I can click actions and I can click on unsubscribe. I, they will be then unsubscribed if I click on confirm. So we see here that they are unsubscribed and let's say, you know, a month goes by and they email you saying, hey, where did the emails that I was getting go? You know, what happened? I fell off your list. And you'll be like, oh, I'm sorry about that. Let me resubscribe you. So you can go back in here manually, click on that person, or you can click on other persons that are in this list that are unsubscribed who have contacted you and said, hey, I want to get back on your list. You click on actions, you click on resubscribe and click confirm. And then if we scroll over here and we'll see that they are now resubscribed. So there you go. That's two ways in which you can resubscribe a contact back into your audience list. Remember to obey applicable laws in your area when you do so. If you have any questions about this process or anything MailChimp related, post those in the comments below. Happy to help anywhere I can. And if you're interested in learning more about MailChimp, be sure to click on a couple of these videos right here that may assist you. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.